All right, I guess it's time for me to catch up with the cool kids. Um, we're just gonna make some catfishing rigs. So uh, today, now that I wanna say, we are crimping our lines. Uh, we're using the crimping tools and we are using uh, the little crimpers and the crimping tools. Uh, this is a kind of cool, cool deal. So here we go. Now, as far as the hook is concerned, I'm still gonna snail the hook because I want that trigger effect. We definitely want that trigger effect. All right, I'm gonna snail this knot on here. And today with my crimping folks, um, I usually use 50 pound test and that's, that's okay. But with the crimping, I've kind of went up to 80 pound. Um, I did lose some fish recently uh, to some snags on 50 pounds. Feels a little better. I think he's in that stuff down there now. Uh, he run me right in some stuff. Oh, he come! Oh, he broke me off or something. There's a big concrete, old concrete bridge down there. If you gonna get him up out of that thing, this is what happens. Yeah, he took me right in it. That was a good fish. He would have been a 50 pound plus fish, for sure. All right, where's my box? All right, you put it back there. All right, we'll get him back out there. Cannot catch them all. But we're gonna try to catch as many as we can. It is what it is, folks. Let's wait on another. Oh, there he is. Are we getting enough? Oh, oh, he's taking drag. And he's right in that concrete again. Oh, come on, I'm gonna try to get him out fast. I'm pulling hard and pulling fast. Oh, man. Oh, oh, he broke off again. So. I've opted to kind of come up to an 80 pound braid or an 80 pound mono um, for fishing in the really deep cover or hard cover rocks, things like that. Now we're still gonna trip this off a little bit. We are going to still snail this hook because we want that trigger effect. See how that hook is kind of leaning that way that's what we want to do it when it comes in that hook is automatically going to get right into that fish's mouth that jaw because of that trigger effect that way we have it now on this other the other end we're going to cut off about 18 inches and normally if you have a um well let's just do it right here on a swivel we're going to put uh one of our let me do it here one of our sleeves these are aluminum sleeves we're going to put it on first and we're just going to kind of hold it there for a second or two and then we're going to put our swivel on this is how we're going to attach it now we're going to bring it down and we're going to put it into the other side of that and slide it through. See how we got her slid through? Hope that's in, in frame. Now we're gonna just pull it up about right there. And we're gonna take our crimpers and each one of them is numbered. This is a, I think it's a one millimeter. 
I think this is a one millimeter um, sleeve. So we're gonna use the one millimeter uh, gauge on these crimpers. All right, we're gonna... Now I'm an old dude and can't hardly see this stuff anymore. So I do have a light over here. I guess I could use my light. All right, we're gonna get it in there like so. Hope you can see that. And we're gonna crimp it. Gonna loose of it. And there's that crimp. Now we have a, uh, a leader, and that was really quick and painless. Uh, I'm, I'm really digging these, uh, these new crimping tools and, and the, the way to do this. But I just wanted to keep up with the cool kids and uh, get on board. I mean, you can always teach an old dog new tricks, that's for sure. Uh, I've been around the game a long time, uh, but I kind of did my own thing. But I think this crimping stuff has actually come from deep sea fishing, but it, it works good in the inland, inland waters too. Uh, another way I'm crimping as well is with wire. We're using this um, 135 pound test but anyway, it's, it's not much bigger than the 80 pound mono, but we're using it for making dragon floats. I've got some of these wires pre-made already. Just cause I kill some time over here doing it occasionally. And then we will put the float on next. And then we're gonna take our aluminum sleeve again Put it on, and this in here kind of gets tight, but we're gonna pull it around and stick it back through the sleeve. Pull it up, and then we're gonna cramp it, crimp it again. Now what you do here, you're gonna to tie to your leader line here. You'll have a main line, a swivel, a leader line to this, out of this to the hook, and you've kind of got a demon dragon of sorts that don't cost uh, four or five dollars. I don't even know what the demon dragons cost, but I do know they are a little pricey. Uh, you can do it that way, or you can do it like I've shown you in my other videos before. Uh, I like to do it either way. I find it one's just as good as the other. But let's, let's do it here. Now, first thing I want to do is get four or five feet. Now, this is going to be one of my dragon rigs that I use. Uh, so I'm, I don't want any, any cuts in it at all. So I'm going to take about a four or five foot piece, chop it off. We're going to start down here where the hook business, the business end is going to be. Uh, we're going to come back about, I don't know, a foot. And we're going to take and put an overhand knot in it. And then we're going to wrap it again twice through the same hole. And then we're going to just slightly pull it. Now I don't want to really tighten it. The fish will eventually tighten this. So we're just going to kind of leave it like that. Now we're going to go to the other end of it. And we're going to put a bead on it. The bead is so that uh, the knot don't line through the bobber. And then we're going to put a bobber on it. And incidentally, folks, we do have we do have two different size bobbers. We got the two and a half and we got the two. If you guys are fishing in areas where you have like just channel cats, the two inch is what you're going to need. But if you're throwing a two pound bait to some big old blue cats, this is what you want, the uh, two and a half. All right, we're going to put a uh, We'll put the bobber on and then we're going to put a bead on next. And now we're going to come about three inches from that, but it's just a, a square knot, I guess you want to call it, looped twice. And then again, we want to pull it down close to it, but we do want this thing to move back and forth a little bit and it's actually gonna give it some rattle as well too. Now you're, you're ready to go. This is just a little bit too long for me. I like about three foot from my swivel to the float. So I have to cut some of that off. And then again, I would just snail 
a hook to this, leaving about six inches from the hook to uh, our bobber. And then that's, that's kind of a done deal. I'm gonna go ahead and do this for you right quick. Again, we're going to, I'm trying some new hooks. I, I'm, the hooks I've been using are great hooks, but they've been knocking the eyes out of some of my catfish and I'm not really digging that. Uh, so we're going to snail our hook. We're going to go about six inches away from it. And we're going to do my tried and true reverse snail knot, I call it. Yeah, I'm biting 80 pound test. Never fear. All right, that's what it is. That's what you've got right here. And then we'll just tie this to your main line, whether it be a, a braided line or mono, you'll have another um, swivel at the top. You'll attach this to your, your fishing line. So there's a couple different, different ways we can do that uh, with our bobbers. But I just like to say this, this new way of um, not, not tying uh, is, is pretty cool, I think. Um, and I'm kind of anxious to to use it in the coming year because I think it's just going to be a lot easier on me. It's going to be so much quicker just to take this out, crimp a line, and it's it's good to go. Now you can buy these crimpers on Amazon. You can buy everything on Amazon. Here's here's what you if you're going to do any of this with the wire. This is like a uh, hundred foot of the 135 pound test that you can get. And you get it on there, and I think you, you're going to get a bag of these. Uh, these are going to be 1.0 if you can find them. These are actually 1.2s. So they're just a little bit over the one. Uh, they're a little loose, but they still work. But the ones are what you're going to want with this 135 pound stainless steel plastic coated wire. And it's kind of leader line is what it is. Now we do, we do sell these individually in packs of uh, a dozen, if you like, and you can use them however you want. These are actually just slip floats. Um, and you can use them for a, a lot of different applications in, in catfishing. All right, but like I say, guys, with this new crimping method i'm done and it's new to me as it, you guys may be using it already I, i'm not sure but uh, it's new to me i'm having fun with trying different things that you can do with it uh, creating bumping rigs uh, is one benefit that i like about it create you know when you're bumping the mississippi river ohio river uh, you run your baits through a lot of uh, structure and cover, uh, creating nicks and, and things. But uh, this this crimping uh, eliminates the knotting. So, you, and like I say, you can get the crimper for about twenty bucks. You can get these um, aluminum aluminum sleeves uh, for like ten bucks. And the beads are pretty cheap as well. And, and they last quite a long time. But I am a simple, simple kind of tackle guy. But to me, this is simple. I mean, it has some some stuff on, but yeah, I can I can tie, I can put this on a on a rig a whole lot quicker than I can tie something on a rig, and, and I do I'm starting to like that. Uh, time will tell whether I keep this up or not. Uh, whether I start losing a bunch of fish or something to that effect, but right now I'm pretty excited about about the uh, the crimping and uh, the way it's going to work for me uh, when I'm out on the boat.
All right, everyone, I think that's about it for me today. I appreciate you stopping by to check out my videos. I will try to put out a few more videos uh, when I can, but please bear in mind, I am planning the Catfish Coffee, the Catfish Crappie Conference, um, and trying to fish and trying to run a, a business. So um, we're, we're pretty busy and, and I hope that what I do shows when you guys show up at the Catfish Crappie Conference Expo this year in Louisville, Kentucky, February 24th and 25th.